the Alabasta, Arabasta saga begins with chapter 155, Sir Crocodile the Pirate. And I will make a correction because as we'll see shortly, I forgot. Sir Crocodile's the head of the Baroque works, right? But that's number zero or Mr. Zero, right? Not one. Have we met number one? I don't remember right now. Anyway, <clears throat> so this begins with basically set up. I don't know if this is basically a flashback or something that's going on right in the moment. It serves to introduce us properly to Sir Crocodile. And he's a hero to Arabasta. Alabasta. He seems like he takes care of the, uh, you know, pirate problems that crop up, even though he himself is the one of the seven warlords of the sea, but got a hook for a hand. He's pretty awesome looking, actually, in a jerk kind of way. But he protects this area because it's his area. And as a result, people think highly of him, even though he's not really protecting it for them, I don't think. But they seem to take kindly to it, including the king. The question is whether or not that's out of fear on some level, because he's seemingly invincible from <laughs> the scenes here. So we'll find all of that out. But uh, Nefeltari Cobra, king of Alabasta says we are indebted to him. Is that Vivi's father? I don't know. I'm I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. So that whole opening scene it might be Nami or, or Vivi telling Nami or maybe telling everyone the backstory, basically. Because they get in a fight over, a silly fight over Luffy, Usopp, Tony Tony Chopper, Duck the Duck that I can never remember the name of. <laughs> seems like they've just eaten all the food that, that got stored on the ship, basically. So so in the midst of that conflict, that's where it looks like Vivi is telling Nami about this. And in the course of that, they lay out the hierarchy of the Baroque works with uh, Mr. Zero as president. And that's Crocodile, although I, nobody realizes he's the head of the Baroque works. <laughs> But he is, and but that's why uh, the Straw Hats are targeted, because they found that out, right? I think, if I'm remembering correctly, that's more or less the deal. And they lay out everyone we've seen, but we haven't seen everybody. And the notable gaps, like Mr. 1, Mr. 4, Mr. 6, Mr. 7, Mr. 10, Mr. 12, those don't have images on them. Um, so I don't think we've actually met them yet. Uh, but everyone we've met so far and some some level shows up on this so it's it's useful it's just a lot of characters that i uh, only uh passingly remember at this point anyway it sets up that they're dangerous and they're coming together luffy and company are headed into uh potential conflict with the more or less entire baroque works it seems that brings us to chapter 156 the ocean is steaming, and they sail into it. Mr. Two also sails into this and accidentally gets hooked on Luffy's fishing pole and lands up on their ship here for a moment. So they meet, but they don't really know who each other are. But what we find out, the important part here, is Mr. Two's ability is to clone. It's what, the clone clone fruit, right? So he can... Uh, clone people he touches. So he touches most of them here. He touches Luffy. This is definitely going to become important, right? Luffy, Usopp, uh, Tony, Tony Chopper. Looks like Nami. Maybe Sanji? So no, maybe it's Sanji's the one that did doesn't see him, I think. It seems like everybody sees him except for Sanji, and I think that's going to become important because it kind of gets highlighted in the next chapter. But anyway, we get introduced introduced to Mr. Two and his power, and they're all sort of flabbergasted by it, and they don't realize who he is until he leaves. But yeah, as expected, they run into each other here before before we get into the meet. I just thought it would be more of a conflict. It's a little bit of a twist that it's sort of a friendly encounter <laughs> ahead of time. But of course, he gains the ability to look like most of them 
um, in the process, which is obviously going to become a thing, I would guess, at some point. And to the point where it's like, you start to wonder, is he already hanging out? Did he realize who they are and they didn't realize who he was? I don't know. The implication so far is that that uh, this actually gives them an opportunity to plan because they realized who he was. The question is, did he realize who they were? Doesn't seem like it. But if he did, maybe he's still with them? I don't know, right? It seems like he left. But anyway, there's just a lot of room for possibilities. Which brings us to chapter 157, Ace Arrives. Uh, there's some sea cat thing that they freak out, but I guess it's friendly. And um, is it a sacred animal in the Arabasta kingdom? And it goes swimming off. And of course, Luffy just is upset he can't eat it because he's got a food issue. Yeah. All these ships that are the Baroque Works gathering. Uh, and I guess the ships have markings on them that make it clear it's them, <laughs> which they comment about being kind of silly, but it, there's a lot of them. It's kind of the point. The straw hats are are um, trying to stay away and not be noticed, which more more or less it appears like they do. Zoro, Zolo, suggesting everybody tie these uh, this fabric onto their left arm so they know that they're actually them and not Mister Two pretending to be them. So they're thinking ahead. If Mister Two is among them. And I don't know that he is. Yeah, they are. They are pointing out that Sanji didn't see him. So he'd be the possible... Well, but they, he didn't get touched. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. We'll see where that goes. Anyway, they go ashore. <laughs> we meet uh, Ace, who's passed out in his food. Is apparently just died sitting there while he was eating. But no, he had just passed out and then he comes up. And we get his full name here, which I don't... I actually am un. I know we met him just previously, uh, but I what I don't remember is if he showed up even earlier or got mentioned because Ace sounds like a familiar name. I don't remember if we actually saw anything, but he says he's looking for his brother, his kid brother, and he gets introduced as Portgaz D Ace. So we got another way of D person going on here. Um, so the implication is that Luffy is his brother? Maybe? Anyway, he seems pretty cool. He wakes up, falls asleep again in his food. <laughs> and uh, that's when he gets introduced and, and says he's looking for his kid brother. And then we see Luffy running towards a restaurant, which is where Ace is. So perhaps they are about to meet. Let's find out in the next video. See you there.